Well, well, looks like winter is here, rather later than sooner. I hope you have your wallets ready for this update, because now you not only need to pay Russia for the gas to keep your butts warm in the winter, but face punch as well to get the warm hazmat skin. Maybe they can at least add some <coughs> potion that increases your resistance to cold. For those of you who somehow don't know what I'm talking about, you can now buy a hazmat skin that gives you extra cold protection while losing some less important stats. Let me know what you think about this. But enough of that, and let's get to the point. For the winter freaks out there, an arctic research based monument has been added and apart from doing some uh, researching, you can also get some loot, do some recycling chores, get a red card and most importantly a snowmobile. Let's start with the monument itself. Here you can see the basic layout of the monument and where the main loot spawns can be. Most of the crates however spawn behind the garage doors that need to be opened with a blue card, so make sure to bring one and no fuse is needed. The whole place is infested with scientists, 10 of them to be exact. So make sure to be well prepared because they might start rushing you. Tip: I found out that it is quite easy to clear them from the top of the recycler building. You can climb on it via this ladder so I would recommend clearing your way towards it and just hop on it. The place can spawn almost all types of crates. The ones that are in the underwater labs and the regular military crates inside the card rooms. The yellow lab crate is essentially the same as the military crate and blue crate is the same as regular crate, since their yields are almost the same. The tech crate is however the best find scrap wise and yields 121.7 scrap on average. If you are curious how I come down to these numbers, check out my previous video on blue card monuments. As usual I have tested out how much scrap you get from this monument on average. The place contains from 11 to 16 crates in total. In addition, you can find a few crude oil and ammunition crates. This is the average division of the crate types from my experience. If we add the numbers up, we come down to 784 scrap on average per one run, including 80 scrap worth for the red card. I tried calculating how much time a solo would take to clear the monument with the SAR and came down to 8 minutes 30 seconds on average. So this means that you get 1.54 scrap per second spent clearing this monument. For comparison, this is much lower than the other monuments, but you should get some extra ammo and 119 crude oil on average, only from the oil crates if you manage to find them all. However, let's not forget the main attraction of this place, the snowmobile. It already comes with fuel and is a great tool for a quick escape. Some other advantages of this toy, has a small box worth of storage, is not zerg friendly since it can only carry two people, rides quite fast on the snow and sand including all the beaches and deserts, so you can travel around the map as well, has a light and is good for road rage. However, it does suck on all the other surfaces, cannot be carried in scrap heli, keeps getting stuck on branches and rocks, so take it for a spin yourself. Oh. Yeah, and be careful of the polar bears, they do be biting. Actually, maybe the devs could make a polar bear hazmat skin to stop them from attacking you. So, to conclude, if you are looking for scrap, you can definitely find better options. But if you do need the snowmobile and a red card, then this is the place to be. All the likes and feedback is of course appreciated, so go wild and thanks for watching.